Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for October 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements. We're going to take a look and see what your shadow work is, what your shadow side is, and then we'll finish off the race and see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. All right, so tell me about, tell me about um, Capricorn. Capricorn's shadow work and shadow side here. Talk about Capricorn's shadow side, shadow work here for October 2023 for Capricorn for Capricorn. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords. Mm. You know, I feel like one of the things that you have to learn here at Capricorn is that sometimes you just have to let people be. Yeah. Like there's a lack of allowing people to be, allowing people to have their own experience and allowing people to, you know, hit rock bottom when they need when they have to hit rock bottom it's like almost like stopping it from happening you know keep in mind when you stop someone's experiences uh, when you stop someone's experiences from happening you actually hinder their own growth and their evolution their in their healing so this have like things have to happen not just for these people but for you you know what i mean so let's see with the hangman piscean energy and the queen of wands yeah, there's a lack of surrendering. There's a lot of letting go. There's a lack of allowing the process to unfold as it should, you know? So this is all about letting go, allowing things to happen. As scary as it can be, there's medicine, there's growth, you know, there's healing when you actually just allow things to unfold, especially like, you know, when you worry about people, you know, when people are going through a tough time, you know, when people are, uh, you know, doing drugs or something like that, or people are just like, you know, self-destructing, you just have to allow it to happen. Yeah, because like I said, if you don't, you stop their process, you actually hinder what they need to learn, you know, what they need to grow from. So just keep that in mind. And this doesn't have to apply to, you know, the people that you're worried about, but also for yourself. Um, we have the King of Cups here and the Ace of Wands. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Ace of Wands here. I, I do feel like it's a, it's a little bit of a control thing here, you know? Uh, we have the Page of Swords and the Nine of Cups. This is actually creating discord in your family here. This is creating discord in your relationships here too, uh, Capricorn. I mean, Capricorn, this is something that doesn't have to be you. It could be someone that's in or around you that's, you know, that does this, okay? Maybe this is your partner. Maybe this is your friend. Maybe this is your mom. Maybe this is your dad. Okay, Queen of Wands. We have that Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, Hangman, and the Fool. There is someone that you're allowed to hit rock bottom here. Someone here is definitely hitting some sort of rock bottom. It's uncomfortable to watch, but, you know, sometimes in certain situations, it's good to sit with this discomfort because there's something there that needs to be worked on. You know what I mean? You know, not not the discomfort of like a lion like right next to you about to maul you. Like like not that kind of discomfort. That's a different type of discomfort. That's like a fight or flight response trying to survive. You know what I mean? Uh, but it's just the like discomfort of sitting in front of someone that's dealing with grief. You know, that's dealing with hurt. You know, that's dealing with pain. You know, that that's something that you know. Something all humans have to learn from. It does help with our karma. It does help how we, you know, um, deal with things uh, in this lifetime, in our incarnation here. Okay? Tell me the Nine of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. 
and the Two of Wands. Yeah, there's a lack of allowing things to happen. There's definitely some sort of stuckness here. I almost get the feeling it's like a, almost a control thing. Not allowing certain things to happen, controlling certain outcomes here, Capricorn. But like I said, um, this doesn't have to be you. It could be the experience, like you're experiencing dealing with someone like this, okay? Or like you could, you know, you could have someone in around your life that's going through this. What else do we have here for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know? We've got four work on for October 2023 for Capricorn. For Capricorn. The moon and the higher thing, Taurus, Energy, Cancer, Pisces, King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. And then we have the Seven of Swords here and the Emperor. I think the big lesson here for you, um, Capricorn, is to leaving people where they need to be. Yeah. No need to reprimand them, no need to correct them, but just allow them to have that direct experience and also offer support when they need it, you know? Don't offer it when they're not asking for it. I think that's another thing that you might have to learn here too, Capricorn. Stepping in where you don't need to be. Does that make sense? Or whoever I'm reading for here, okay? Seven of Swords here in the Emperor. Yeah, you hinder people's, you, you will hinder people what they need to learn, you, you, you know? And that is so important to have people, let people, allow people to have their direct experience. Yeah, we all should have it. Yeah, the emperor, don't stop it. When someone cries in front of you, don't stop it from happening. When you touch them, when you tap them, you stop their experience, you know? You want to allow them to move that energy so that they learn what they need to learn. Because when you tap them, when you rub their shoulder and you give them a hug, you stop that from happening. Unless they ask for it, yeah, then you you you, you kind of offer that support. But if they're not asking for it, just be present for them, right? So the Seven of Swords with the Five of Wands, okay? Mm, I feel like it might even take on a lot of people's things too. It's a bit of a martyr energy here. Yeah, it's a bit of a martyr energy. Yeah, someone here is just taking on other people's stuff. Nine of Wands. We have the Six of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. It's almost like someone who would rather take on all the world's suffering than actually watch people suffer. Yeah, that's mm, that's a lot to take on. Yeah, that's a lot to take on. So that's a that's a lesson here for you. It's to allowing leaving people where they are at, where they need to be, so that they could get to where they need to be. You know, once they kind of like have that like, oh, you know. So uh we have the ten of swords here and the two of swords. Yeah, this is all, it's a, in a way it's like stopping from like the karmic wheel spinning in a way. You know, does that make sense? It's, and you don't want to do that. Yeah. Because, you know, when, when that happens, it actually creates a huge karmic imbalance, a huge karmic shift here, you know? And, you know, when you, 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 when you become this martyr also, you're, all, you're also taking on the other people's karma too. So that's really important to know, Capricorn. So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.